Hey everybody, we're back in the garage. I've already shown you how to do that suspended overhead shelf and my workbench. You can see it's already getting filled up with stuff. Now the third stage of my shelving system here in the garage is going to be some corner shelves. I'm going to show you how to do corner shelves. I've got 600 mil or two feet apart. Uh, three of them, nothing on the floor. We've got concrete down here. What I'm going to do though is have an angled front because I've got a door here. I want to be able to open it so it swings right past so the shelves will fit in behind on a similar angle to what the door is at. I don't want the I don't want them coming out on a square because it's just going to dig straight into that door there. So Your tools for today's job are all good quality hand tools, square hammer, tape measure earmuffs. Once again we're going to be using bugle batten screws so you need the appropriate drill to get them into place. We'll need a power saw and a good quality level and also today we'll need a, a good quality saw to cut those angles. Let's get into it. First of all we're going to do the cleats just like I've done the cleats up here with bugle batten screws. You can watch those videos to see how I attach the cleats. I've already marked out the levels so attach the cleats and then it's just a matter of measuring the same, same style of chipboard uh, shelf onto it and cut the angle. It's all going to be 90 degree in the corner, 45 degrees on the externals with a 2x1 on the face to protect the front of the shelf. the length from corner to outside both ways and cut our sheet accordingly with a right angle and two 45s. There is the finished product. Give it a test run. There you go, 90 degrees you can see how the doors going to fit nicely across that instead of something sticking out here that the door could jam into. So I'll fix a glue, glue the back of them and fix them down. Do the second and the third one as well and then put 2 by one on the front. This is the 2 by one I'm using, 42 by 19 Just gives a bit of strength to that front shelf. It still is very strong because it's supported firmly at both sides. But this will just give that edge a bit more strength and protect that edge as well. Glued and nailed on. There we go, I've got a nail into the support as well as a nail into the shelf itself. Just so this bit of timber is fully supported and therefore the middle of the shelf is also fully supported. Three extra strong shelves ready for any load and I can swing my door open quite freely right out of the way to get good access for those who want to come in that way. Check out more of my how to do building and construction videos. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you again very soon.